Why are you wearing that? Why are you wearing that? When you wanted my house for a ghost hunt, I thought it would be more, um, not retarded. What part of Ninja Exorcist didn't you understand? It's like a self-defining definition of itself. I've never heard those words before. At least not in the same sentence. I sent you an email last week. Your cameraman sent me like 30 emails. I haven't gotten any from you. And he's been here for an hour setting up equipment and never mentioned it. That's because I don't send emails. I don't trust machines to handle my messaging. And C1 had his tongue bitten out two years ago by a 13-year-old Colombian boy who didn't appreciate his tip on a half and half. No, I didn't. Well, you better stay in line because they work cheap. The house still looks good. Thanks. Where do you want this? How about in the yard until we're done shooting the first scene? What? You guys just said you wanted all the equipment inside. Just, just give me a minute. Do you think we got enough for the opening? Can we cut now? It'll be a week lead in. What is this? I thought you said you wanted to do a documentary on the ghost settings at my house. I said it was documentary-like, or based on a documentary, or something. I say a lot of things. The point is, not all of them are true. What part of this concept don't you get? You never told me anything! What concept? Ninja Exorcist isn't just a name on the FBI's watch list. Ninja Exorcist is a unique and revolutionary paradigm that will synergize the modern entertainment landscape. Basically, it is a realist sci-fi horror docudramedy, an original concept so advanced beyond all other concepts the future will likely attempt to send robots back in time to kill its mother, or rape it so the future of entertainment will have robotic genes infused in its bastard steel DNA. The day you see a machine in this seat, Stop trusting everything and buy as many guns as you can get your hands on. Ninja Exorcists is an investigation into the realm of the supernatural. It's a shotgun in the mouth of skeptics who doubt the existence of the paranormal, ready to blast their ignorance on the walls of freedom. Behold, a program that will explore phenomena that are beyond the capacity of science and logic. Witness the perfection of modern paranormal investigation. All other paranormal investigators tremble before our credibility. We have no need to fake paranormal events or over-dramatize non-events. Why would we? I've got a direct line to the apocalypse, and everybody's screaming! Audiences will be drawn into the discovery of genuine paranormal events, and the spectacle of science bowing before us in abject humiliation. Audiences will be even more drawn into the spectacle of people who believe they've been witness or victim to paranormal events, or that are desperately lonely enough to lie for attention. This isn't Ghost Hunters. We will not fake being scared and we will not waste half an episode explaining away all of the unexplained noises as water in the pipes. What a shock that a bunch of plumbers, who aren't scientists, explain everything through the limited worldview created by living in the pathways and depositories of other people's feculence. Based on our model, if we ever do encounter anything paranormal, there'll be no question as to its authenticity. Because if we wanted money, we'd just steal things. And if we wanted attention, we'd start fires. Therefore, our credibility as ninjas and investigators is 100% at all times, if not greater. Awesome. This is the last time I make any kind of promise at a bar. You could blur my face out, right? Of course. Why don't you tell us the history of the house? Well, um, it wasn't me who actually encountered it. It was my friend Alyssa. So you didn't directly encounter the apparition. Would you consider Alyssa a credible witness? Yes. Bullshit. That girl's a psycho. She probably does see ghosts. And demons. 
and a talking dog that tells her the president laughs at her behind her back and the only way to stop him is to shoot all the celebrities she thinks is prettier than she is. She's not a psycho, you mongoloid. Look, Alyssa is a wonderful girl, and I'm sure we can trust her. Any information, even secondhand, will help us further our investigation. I came here to murder a ghost. And elimination. Now tell us about this house. The ghost seems to appear around 3 a.m. Not too long after last call. Why don't you give us a tour of the residence and show us the areas with the greatest levels of activity? I was worried the sexual tension between client and me would make this awkward. I mean, I'm sure it's difficult for her to deal with someone who's blown her off as many times as I have. What was that? What did you do? Nothing. Was that coming from the other room? Let's check it out. What is that? That is Master Bukau. His participation is essential to our investigation. We dressed him like a Buddhist monk. He's really more of a pet. We deduced if we got someone with the IQ of a dog, he'd help us find ghosts or something. It's like how animals know when an earthquake is coming. They have a sixth sense. And don't worry, he's house-trained. He isn't house-trained at all. I'm pretty sure his mother just puts a diaper on him before he leaves the house. Dr. Intern, we need you here now to free Master Bukau from his latest entanglement. Am I supposed to have a radio? I'm just supposed to move equipment and log video. He is equipment. Now move him. Fine. Don't pull him in like that. We're liable if he falls on you, so if you get hurt, we will have to bury your head and hands in the Pine Barrens and let the rest of you float out to sea. Good point. Go outside and push him in from the rear. But that's where his ass is, and that robe is open on the bottom! Calm down. He's probably wearing underwear. Come on, that's disgusting. Can't I just pull him out by his feet? No, because then you still have the same intern crushing problem. I guess someone never wants to get his bachelor's in interior design. Okay, okay, I'll do it, I'll, I'll do it. We kind of told him that he'd get college credit for doing this, but honestly, I don't even know how to give it to him. Do I fill out a form? I mean, I'm not even sure how to pay taxes on this thing. Plus, I don't think a college would accept credit from whatever the hell this is. Honestly, would you? Who are they? Is that my underwear? What are they doing? They're looking for clues. We have a mystery on our hands. There's no mystery! Look, it's our job to investigate the unknown, because the unknown acts like a variable in our investigation. I don't expect you to understand, because variables are based in algebra, and we all know the trouble you ladies have with math. <laughs> Next time on Ninja Exorcist! That's real cute. If you're going to pull it out, pull it out! And then, you see if you can pull it out of your ass without having to practice 50 times. Master Bukau, have you successfully channeled the ghost into your body? Help! The ghost! Spirit. It's attacking her! Quick, before she gets laid. Subscribe! It's how we get your rapidly devaluing Earth money!